Hello. So maybe like almost two weeks ago, there's been um, news released about the new collection from Jimmy Choo that is in collaboration with Sailor Moon. At first, I was like, a tweet is enough. <laughs> So at first I was like, that's enough. But then I thought about it some more. I asked you guys and you said that you want to hear about it. So let's talk about it. And the most annoying thing happened. I honestly don't know what that's about. There's probably some kind of stupid reason for it. But yesterday I was browsing the Jimmy Choo website and I could see the entire collection. I could order anything if I wanted to order anything. And today I opened the website and it just redirects me to this page to sign up for email newsletters or whatever why can't i open the collection page anymore thank god for sailor moon fan network because i'm not looking for all of those pieces across the internet i just don't care enough but it's just so annoying is this a canadian thing again are they kind of phobic <laughs> Obviously, the shoes that are on the screen right now, this one's, that's terrible. But let's talk about these shoes. So these guys are 15,000 US dollars. I believe that when I was looking at it yesterday on the website with Canadian dollars, it was 19k or something like that. There is a few things that I want to say about them. First and foremost, of course, they are not um, an exact a replica it's missing a few elements which i think some of it is okay so for example like there's a white stripe at the top for sailor moon's outfit for her boots i think that it's okay to kind of not include it with this because it would be very hard to wear but it is hard to wear them anyway so i don't know why that'd be a problem especially with the moon symbol i'm not entirely sure why they would leave it like that why would they use pink crystals for that i don't quite get it when you look at this picture there's one that they use as a promotional image and then that one it kind of looks cool it also looks cool on this cover wonderland magazine they really made it look good there but when you look at them up close without it being a part of like an editorial shoot or something um I don't know if I'm happy with the way that they look. I am happy that they actually tried. It seems like instead of doing something that has nothing to do with Sailor Moon and just slapping a name on it, they actually tried to incorporate the designs from the original and whatever. But looking at it up close, I do not like the pattern that the crystals are applied in. It seems messy to me. It seems like it's um like a sloppy bedazzling work. I don't know. It feels like I could make that and I am not a handy person. I think that it's the fact that they use different sizes of the crystals. The boot is 15k US dollars. So this is very steep for what is essentially a pump with a stretch literally stretch jersey fabric i don't know if you've ever worn shoes like this i have a pair it's literally like a sock on top of a pump and i'm gonna tell you what it's um incredibly uncomfortable and i have a pretty high tolerance for beauty related stuff like i do wear uncomfortable clothes sometimes if it's for the look but this types of shoes are extremely uncomfortable i'm curious if they have made any adjustments to the usual structure of a shoe like that to make them easier to wear but i really doubt it i think that this is just like a pair that they expect people to just display at, at, i don't know in their house somewhere i don't know as you can see when you look up close you can see where the pump starts i don't understand why they would do that i would assume that this is a an intentional choice not a good one the difference in sizes for the crystals makes this shoe look a little gross i feel like it would look a lot better if the pattern of application was a lot more structured rather than random and if the stones were the same size mostly the same size at first i was kind of really into this like i posted about it and i was like yeah i love this boots like i'm a five-year-old child i love sailor moon shit you know but at the same time if you really look at the workmanship i just don't get why anybody would pay that much for them of course in the description as they always do i I, wait, I need designers to stop with the Swarovski crystals, okay? Or at least stop using it as a selling point because it's worse than Zirconia. If they would have bedazzled the entire thing, if they would have placed that many Zirconia stones, cubic Zirconia, on this boot, I would maybe consider the price. I would maybe think, you know what, maybe maybe it would make sense that at least it's a lot more expensive than their usual shoes swarovski crystals are cheap as fuck i don't know i don't know why they keep on talking about them as if they're using diamonds or something i know that diamonds are a lot more expensive like no shit but i'm just saying that they always frame it as if it is somehow a selling point and cubic zirconia is like a nine on a moss scale 
a moss scale is basically a scale that determines how hard a stone is and how easy it is to scratch it and it's from 1 to 10, 10 being diamonds. Usually cubic zirconia depending on its quality it's from 8.5 to 9 or so you know something like that. Swarovski has come up with their own zirconia too but this is not what they're using here, and this is not what they're using in even Swarovski stuff too. They usually use Swarovski crystals. This is their signature thing. And Swarovski crystals, I shit you not, they're only 6 or 7 on the Moss scale, okay? They cost very little to produce. So whenever designers use it as like a selling point, it pisses me off. Because like I understand handmade based on what they say. So I guess that would cost more, but then make it look better, girl. I think that when I was looking at it from afar, I was a lot more impressed than when I started looking at it up close. Like, look at the pattern of the stones, right? Of the crystals, I'm sorry. Maybe it's that phobia of holes speaking for me, but I'm not enjoying the pattern at all. Like, it kind of makes me think of weird scaly or diseased skin, and that's not what I'm looking for when I'm looking for something Sailor Moonish. From afar, I'm still like, oh, Sailor Moon boots. But then up close, Girlfriend, stop! Get back in the you have got to have, like, no conscience to be like, yeah, this is $15,000, actually. <laughs> okay. So there's also another version of it. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know. I think that because this is a jersey material, if you were to wear these shoes, it would definitely keep on slipping down. The band is tight, but let's be real. You can see how thin the material is. It would be slipping all the time. Anyway, so Mercury. So I said that this shoe is definitely a Bloom shoe, 100%. That would be perfect for like a live action Bloom Magic Wings outfit, you know? Is it a good boot? To represent Sailor Mercury. No, I have no idea what the hell that has to do with her. The color, I guess. But even then, she's more of like a darker blue in terms of her boots. But I do see Bloom wearing it. It is strange that they picked this for Mercury though. Sailor Mars, love Sailor Mars, reminds me of Ray's shoes 100%. It's honestly like even the shape, everything, I kind of feel like this is probably the closest one to the original. Maybe not the heel. I think the heel for Ray is just regular square. I'm happy with this one. I don't know if maybe the maybe the shape could have been better for the heel to get it closer to the original, but I also think that it doesn't have to be exactly like the original, it just has to have the spirit. And I think that this one has the spirit and it doesn't have a weird pattern in Swarovski crystal, so I'm happy about that. Sailor Jupiter, I get why they would give her these shoes like the more masculine type because of her power and because she's representing jupiter but at the same time makato herself is very sweet and she would never wear this to me at least it seems a little bit strange that they went with that because the originals look more like something that would fit a high fashion brand or a luxury shoe brand it just seems like it would be really cool shoes if they just were to recreate this shoes so i don't know again not quite sure why they went for this style when sailor jupiter's style was already so good and would be more versatile like it would be easier to style it it's darker green it has a nice heel with a pointy front and of course sailor venus platforms with this one like it's similar to what her shoes are in the like original but once again i would probably go for like kitten heels like a different type of heel not a platform these ones are not bad either but i would choose a different style of a shoe for it five sailors collage diamond light maxi yeah i hate this there's like no outfit in the world i can imagine that would make these look not tacky but i mean to each their own if you like it that's cool i just like to make things interesting over here so i like to complain <laughs> I like having little like Luna icons here and there, like little graphics or whatever, it's cute, but I don't think that it is anything that's worth more than a grand of US dollars. I don't think, I don't think it makes sense. Now the bags, I've been thinking about this forever, like just trying to figure out whether there's an outfit or a person I can imagine wearing this. Maybe these ones could be somehow incorporated in a way that would make it a little bit more fitting and interesting. But these ones are 
would be difficult to style to not make your outfit look messy i feel like pieces like this are hit or miss you know you have to be very sure that you want it because otherwise it's just gonna be a piece that's just gonna take up space in your home let me know if you're the type of person who would style this with something and like wear it as an everyday purse i'd be curious to hear what your ideas are in terms of like how you would style this in everyday life i mean it's just a graphic on a bag i think that probably this black and white with tuxedo mask and sailor moon looks cute but in general it's not my style but i can see where they were going with this and at least it's the original images instead of like a random iteration that makes no fucking sense as it usually is with a lot of collaborations this crystal luna clutch this is probably just like for displaying i can't see it being very useful or being a signature piece and for me i don't like buying things that will not become a part of my life like it just it just sounds like collecting garbage you know in your house but at the same time if you like this or you have a person who likes to display things like that like it will work for you i think i like the one that's not with crystals i like it better now the card holders nothing it's nothing interesting there's nothing innovative about the design it's just a regular card holder with just a bunch of sailor moon images on it which can be cute if you want it right you know i don't think you need these for this price i don't think that they are worth it um you could get something similar at a store that sells sailor moon merch or something you know um i don't think that you need to be spending how much is it like 500 us dollars 800 canadian or something like what the hell would i pay for a card holder that looks exactly like a card holder from literally anywhere else the boots i would consider you know any of the shoes i would understand if you were interested in them but i would think twice <laughs> especially about the swarovski crystal ones because you're paying for nothing swarovski crystals are not valuable like they aren't i don't know why anyone would expect anybody to pay fifteen thousand dollars for a boot covered in swarovski crystals girl what do you think we're idiots or something i don't know man anyway overall though don't take this the wrong way i don't think that this is a terrible collection i'm actually pretty pleased in terms of them trying to do something that's actually sailor moon actually honoring what sailor moon is all about they're actually pulling from the imagery that naoko takeuchi created of course the bags the card holders whatever it, that's kind of like the gimmick that i'm talking about right but at least the boots are a little bit more interesting i think that this is just such a bloom shoe i wish we could use that for a live action for a bloom outfit these are my thoughts on this um i'll be back soon still working on the brats video yeah i know <laughs> anyway bye bye